Praise God, youth. Praise God. It's good to be here again. Uh, it's good to see you guys. So uh, a lot of my mind, I've been thinking about uh, our condition the world is in right now. And it's become more evil and more anti-Christian. We can see like all these events going on in America, like um, pride events and demonic ideas that are being held in like um, conferences and all these other places. And uh, this can create like a lot of fear and um, undoubtful thoughts on how our world is today between Christians. And I've been thinking about the dangers in this world. And I've been like thinking to myself, like, how am I going to be able to go through this? And how am I going to be able to overcome it? And I've been learning and uh, seeing more ways on how God is uh, protecting our lives and how he is really here and just um, protecting us through no matter what. And that's what I'm going to be uh, talking about today is protection from the Lord. So let's take a look at Psalm chapter 121. I'll re be reading the whole chapter. And it says, I will lift my eyes up to the hills from whence comes my help. My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. He will not allow your foot to be moved. He who keeps you will not slumber. Behold, he who keeps Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is your keeper. The Lord is your shade at your right hand. The sun shall not strike you by day nor the moon by night. The Lord shall perceive you from all evil. He shall perceive you, your soul. The Lord shall perceive your going out and your coming in from this time forth and even furthermore. In this verse, we begin to understand the protection that the Lord gives us and provides us. We will be protected from evil and harm if we believe in Jesus. Uh, he will also try to protect your soul from sin, uh, meaning that he'll try to protect us best as he can because... He wants us to further grow in his faith, and he's not going to let us stumble too far where we can't get back up. So uh, some people may not have like an easy life. They may have physical troubles. They might have emotional troubles that they go through. And um, uh, so they might have, not have an easy life, And um, but the hardships are an uh, opportunity for us to go have eternal life with Jesus. And someone I like to talk about is Job. Uh, Job is, he lost his family, his entire crop, and he became very ill. And um, he was a great Christian, but why would, why would this happen to him? Um, he, so through all this pain and suffering he went to, he probably went to heaven with more rewards and, uh, yeah, more rewards. And he was just, through all the hardships, you learn that uh, Jesus still is with us no matter what we go through. So we can't really be protected from physical harm. The Bible can protect us uh, spiritually. There aren't many obstacles to become spiritually strong. The only one standing in our way is ourselves, because our flesh wants us to fall for sin, because it feels good. But that leads to a whole other direction that we don't want to go to as Christians. If we want to prevent that from happening, we need to build our spiritual faith and practice prayer that benefits our health. When you want to build up your spiritual strength, you need to repent when you need to, keep the covenant, attend church, and pray. A good verse I like to read is Luke chapter 11, verse 28. But he said, more than that, blessed are those who hear the word of God and keep it. We will be blessed by obeying the Lord's word and protect, protected from all the worldly temptations if we obey his command. And if we learn to do this more often, we'll see how God protects us, his people every day. And um, I'd like to share a little testimony. It's not my testimony. It's my mom's. Uh, this happened about two, three years ago. Happened at the Boise Mall. And as you guys probably know, there was a shooting there. And she was there during the occurrence. And um, let me start from the beginning. She was walking through the mall. And um, she's heading towards Macy's. And as she's walking, there's a security guard walking right next to her. And um, while he's walking, he drops something out of his pocket and stops to pick it up. Uh, that's a very important detail that you'll understand why later. And um, so she walks into Macy's, and she continues on through the store. In about two, three minutes, she hears gunshots, and she runs to the car. She's safe. Everything's okay. But um, we were very, like, intrigued about the story, about why it happened, why everything went down like this. And uh, for a few, for like a month or so, we were like constantly staying on the news, trying to see what, what the purpose was. And uh, we found out that the security guard was um, bisexual, and the shooter was a white supremacist who didn't disliked the LGBT community. 
So he went to the mall purposely to shoot and kill that man. And um, I find it such a miracle that that person, the security guard, dropped the paper right when my mom was next, walking next to her. Because what if he didn't drop it? What if they kept walking together? Then my mom might have been caught up in that issue. And, you know, maybe she wouldn't have been here today. But uh, the Lord is wonderful. He works miracles in our lives. We just believe him. And um, to end it, I want to just read a chapter. I would like to read Psalm chapter 18, verse 6. In my distress, I called upon the Lord and cried out to my God. He heard my voice from his temple, and my cry came before him, even to his ears. No matter where we are, God will always hear us and protect us. His protection protects us both spiritually and physically and helps us through difficult times. I want us to go into this new year when it comes with no fear, knowing that Lord, the Lord is by our side. And if you need a last-minute Christmas gift, praying for someone would be the best thing you could do for them. Amen.